Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you a pretty fun gameplay, I think. I'm using the Karma with the cool camo I just got from, I believe it was the Days of Summer hack in the Quartermaster. Uh, COD Summer Week, I think it was week four or week three. It's got a little bit, it's been a little bit since I've uh, uploaded a video. And that's just been, I've been working a lot. Um, put in 51 hours, which, you know, it might not seem like that much, but that's about 12, 13 hours a day out in the hot sun. I get home, I, I pretty much eat dinner and <laughs> go right to sleep, maybe watch some Netflix or something like that. Um, but I just have not had the energy to even play uh, COD or Minecraft or anything. Any, I haven't even wanted to play PS4. I've just been too tired. So... I had a day off Monday, which is, I believe, when I got this clip, and this is one of the highest kill gameplays I've, I think I've ever had in this game, um, and I'll, I'll let you guys figure that out at the end, because I know I share the scoreboard, um, I'm not going to tell you now, so you guys have to watch to find out, but I was going to take this time just to kind of talk about the game and you know go through some of my classes i got my ps4 in front of me on a different screen um while i'm voicing over my other gameplay so i can look at my uh, loadouts and rig and all that and just talk to you guys about that and the summer week stuff and when i go to the quartermaster what i usually buy like common rare or if right now i'm doing the week hacks the summer week hacks um, so I, I figured we'll start off with the Quartermaster first. I, I do get the, the free uh, gift, the week uh, five, six, whatever it happens to be at the time. Gift, I, I do always take that when I can. But normally I haven't been buying the normal week hacks for 30 and I haven't been saving up for the five pack bundle and hero hack. I usually just, I rarely even buy rare supply drops, I just get common just because I usually save up to like 70 keys or so and then just open a whole bunch at a time. And I, I like the guns I have so I'm not necessarily looking for epics right now or anything like that. I'm um, sure there's a couple here and there that I'd like to have, but I like the double XP tokens. And I feel like the more supply drops you open, I, I don't really know the science behind it, but for me, I've tested it out a little bit, not writing down, just like looking at it and seeing if I could see a, see like a relationship between them. But I, I haven't really been able to find them, but I feel like I get more of those 5 X double XP tokens with the commons. Like I open 10 and I usually get, um, at least one, the most I've gotten is three, so out of 100 keys, I've gotten 15 double XP tokens, um, and it was awesome during, a little bit ago, they had a double, double XP, double keys, double weapon XP, and double, maybe it was objective, I'm not really sure what it was, but those keys were just flying in, and I was opening a whole bunch of them, I think at one point, I had... 30 or 35 or 40 of the double XP tokens and I used them all. I'm currently at level 52 of 8th prestige. I do, I'm, after I record this, I'm going to play a little bit, see if I can get that 9th prestige and then I might make um, a short like 2-3 minute video just showing my stats and prestige and into 9th prestige and let you guys see like what my KD is, win-loss, stuff like that. Um, and show you guys my go-to class, which I will probably make um, once I prestige. The go-to class, it's, it's I, what I think is the best gun in the game. It's ridiculous it's what I die from 80% of the time, and it's what I kill with 80% of the time. Except for videos like this where you see me using a couple other guns. But I do use the NV4 pretty frequently. I have look quick I have started from the beginning the commons uh, resulted redemption vigilance and then I also have the 15% extra XP vigilance with the cool kind of moving camo then I have fallout which is uh, my first video the deatomizer strike that's the gun I was using because that's the only 
and before you can get it with. And then I have the Chaos, which I don't use too much. I usually use the Fallout for the chance that I get that Deatomizer Stripe, which I haven't gotten one since. But I was at 23 kills a couple times, and then I get up to like 20, 21. Decently frequent, um, but <laughs> I think it's the nerves. I'm like, Ooh, I really need this deatomizer strike just so I can make a video on it, and it'd be like my second one, so that's like, exciting also. So I think I just need to like relax a little bit and not necessarily aim for the deatomizer strikes, just aim for like high kill game plays and stuff like that, and the deatomizer strikes will come with that. But now just to go like, um through my loadouts and I'm gonna start with the rig I normally use. I'm normally using Phantom. Um, I got the Basalt headpiece and then Grim body. I do think the Grim headpiece looks good too and they're easy to get if you use Wraith, the mission team. You just gotta get to like level 30 or something like that and it gives it to you. But I like the Basalt head because it's just a flat piece of black like mesh it kind of looks like over it. So I kind of Put those together and I think it looks cool. Then uh got the I love you gesture. Just it's kind of funny when you get the last kill cam and you toss that up. It's kind of just like an extra little like, hey, I, I, I killed you. How do you feel about that? But I like that gesture. Also the hang loose, I like that one. And then taunts, the best one I have is Mad Hacks, which you guys might have seen. Um I throw down occasionally, but then I really like the crush taunt, especially, uh, I usually try to save that for free-for-all when I, uh, beat people by, like, at least 10 kills, like, I'm at 30 and they're, like, at 19 or lower, or if Domination, because those are the two main games I play, um, if we win and they have, like, under, like, I try to keep it around, like, 125, if they're under 125, I do the crush emoji, and... I actually have a game plan I want to put out soon. This is ridiculous. I, I didn't even think I could get this many captures in a game. Um, and for some of you guys, you guys are probably super objective players, so this is probably nothing for you. But I got 12 caps in the game, along with uh, quite a few kills. But that was ridiculous for me. I've, I've ne never had that many. Um, I'm usually around like the four, four to seven range. Um, which I think is decent, you know, but moving on out of that, um, I am currently using the Warfighter rig just for one of the contracts right now. Um, and speaking of contracts, my first loadout is a sniper rifle for the other contract where you need 150 kills or 125, I think it is actually. I got the Widowmaker Smoke Edition, the Epic variant. And I'm not very good at sniping in this game. So I got the ELO sight on it with uh, Triforce, which you can get through the Quartermaster. And then, I guess Ballistic CPU probably isn't too necessary with that ELO, so I'm actually going to change it. But I got also Quick Draw on there. And I'm, I think I'm throwing stock on because I really like aiming down sights and going around corners. It, I think it definitely, um, when I use the NV4 and other guns and stuff like that, I'm definitely like doing that, going around corners, um, ADS, and then you move faster, so I, I really like that. And then I got that backed up with the Kendall 44 Cartel. Um, so I got that nice little epic uh, setup right there with the smoke and then the Cartel. And the Cartel, well, any Kendall 44 um, variant, is one shot in hardcore, so it's nice um, if I'm like in tight corners or like I see someone coming after me around a corner and I duck behind it, pull that out quick and just spam them as they run around. Then I'm running blind eye, tracker, and then perk three I got two, hardwire and marksman, because sniper rifle. Um and I think I'm I'm only at sixty five, the one twenty five kills. And that's after playing like four or five games. I'm not too good with the sniper rifle. Um, I definitely play a lot more reserved with that. Um, loadout 2 is the NV4 with the Spartan. I'm gonna show you guys that when I make my prestige video, um, exactly what attachments I put on it, so I won't talk about that too much. I believe this gameplay, 
I, I know it's the Karma 45, but attachments, I, I don't really remember. I think it's a uh, rifle barrel stock. Um, do I have a sight on it? Yeah, um, ELO and, uh, what's it called, Quick Draw. And then, I know the perks I'm running, it's the same three I always run. It. Like, my go-to three, Blind Eye, Tracker, and Hardwire. Just the three I always seem to gravitate towards. Um, I got Loadout 4 with the g rail right now, which just came out, um, I believe maybe yesterday, I think, because I had an update. But I haven't really used it yet, I played one free-for-all game. Didn't go too well, gotta get the hang of that gun. Then the HVR Carnage, um, purple variant, legendary. Got Quick Draw, Extended Mags, and Silencer on it. No sight. Same uh, perks, plus Scavenger. Then I got a K-Bar, um, which is incomplete right now. I haven't really decided what I want to put on it. Exion with ELO, Quick Draw, and Stock, along with the Spartan again. Go through perks. And it's the easy version with the 15% extra. Then I have a class with nothing, and then Titan Warden class with uh, this one. I, I can't even believe I have this though. It was for LMG kills a little bit ago for a contract. Got the Trojan sight on it with a uh, straight dot, and then quick draw stock and particle lamp. I don't camp with it. I do still treat it like a normal gun. I'm running around, so it's just with 80 rounds instead of 30 or 35. But loadout 9, I don't really have anything. Then score streets. I'm running UAV, Vulture, Warden, UAV, Kickback, Epic, Vulture, Dragonfly, Epic, Warden, Goliath, Legendary. And it works well. Um, this gameplay, I think, is actually my triple Warden gameplay. Or maybe it's a double Warden. Um, I'm not watching it too much right now. I'm kind of just talking to you while I go through my loadouts and stuff like that. But the game is coming to an end. I didn't tell you how many kills, but I am going to give you a little sneak preview before the very end. This I guess it ended right there. But that last kill I had, absolutely loved it. It was, it was tactical. I like hid behind that quick because I saw him, hopped out, slayed him, and that was the game. But 61 kills, one of the highest games I've had. Game's coming to an end, or the footage is coming to an end, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and peace and love to you all. Thank you.